In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this exact particle logo reveal animation in After Effects using new TrapCut Particular 18 plugin. You can download it via link in the description. With that said, let's jump to the tutorial. First, I'm going to create a new composition, name it Render. It will be in 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. Click OK and drag your logo to the timeline. Press S on the keyboard to adjust the scale if needed. I'm going to increase mine a tiny bit so it's roughly of this size. Then I'm going to right click the logo and choose pre-compose. Let's name this pre-comp logo and make sure that move all attributes is selected then click OK. Now we need to create a new solid, for that we go up to your layer new solid. And the color doesn't matter, click OK. Then let's go to fix the presets window and search for fractal noise. Then add the fractal noise to the solid layer. Let's set the contrast to 500. Make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline. Set brightness to negative 280 and create a keyframe for brightness by clicking the stopwatch. Now let's move 6 seconds forward and set brightness to 280. Now click uh, toggle switches and modes here until you see the track mat column and set the logos track mat to luma mat. And that'll give us a simple logo review like this. Now let's select both of these layers. Go to edit, uh, duplicate or press ctrl D as a shortcut. Now let's uh, click away, then go to Effects of Presets window and search for Find Edges. And then add Find Edges effect to the top uh, duplicated solid. And also in Effect Controls, check the Invert box for Find Edges. Now let's select the duplicated layers at the top, so the black solid and the logo. Select both, right click any of them and choose Precompose. And let's name this one Emitter. Click OK. Then click toggle switches and modes until you see this exact column and make the emitter layer 3D by checking this box. Right, now let's create another solid to add particles to it. Let's go to layer, new solid, I'm going to name it particles. And let's search for particular in effects and presets. Then add it to the solid layer we've just created. Now let's head over to the effect controls and the first thing we need is the emitter. So open the drop down for emitter. For the emitter type, Let's select a uh, layer. Then for the particles per second, let's set it to 1 million. Click OK on that. Then emitter size Z, set it to 50. Set velocity to 0. Then open the layer emitter dropdown. And for the layer, let's select the emitter. Now let's uh, make sure you move a bit forward on the timeline to see the, the changes taking place. Now let's scroll down, open particle drop down. I'm going to set life to 2 seconds, then size to 3, size random to 100%, then let's open the size of our life drop down, presets, and choose the second preset. Now let's scroll down to the environment, open the, the drop down, set the wind x to 400, and wind y to negative 200, so the particles move up to the right. Now, as you can see here, now let's uh, scroll down to the displace. Then we need turbulence field, open the drop down. Uh, let's set TF displace XYZ to 200 to get nice displacement on the particles. And one important thing to do is set the TF move with wind to 0%. But default it will be set to 80, so set it to 0%. Okay, now let's open the lighting, shadowlets and enable shadowlets from here by checking the box. And that is it for the particles or the main part of the particles. Now let's create the, the second system as we like to call it the aux system. For that, let's scroll all the way up, then open the show systems dropdown and click add a system. That'll automatically open up the designer window and uh, simply click apply, uh, click apply from here. And now we need to select the system too. If it doesn't get selected on its own, you can simply click the primary system and then click system two. And your emitter should say emitter S2. So once it says S2, then you can proceed. Open the emitter S2 dropdown. And the first thing you wanna do is set particles per second to 10. Make sure you do that before proceeding further. Otherwise you might get too many particles and after effects uh, might crash. So set the particles per second to 10 then open the emitter type S2 drop down and select emit from parent system. And as you do that, you get that good old arc system 
and well too many particles as you can see right now let's adjust the particles so let's scroll down and set velocity to zero i'll set velocity from emitter motion to zero right let's scroll down and for the particle s2 let's set life to 0.5 sphere feather to 30 percent then size to one now let's scroll down and find the color from parent set that to 100 percent now we need to apply the environment and the display settings that we applied to the main system to the system 2. So for that, let's scroll all the way up and click the designer button. Right here, select the primary system. Then for the physics, find the environment, click on it. Then up here in the settings, simply click copy. Then select the system 2 down here. Click the plus sign for the environment. Then choose the default field for the or default environment. Then simply move the cursor down. Then you'll see the settings and simply click paste. Now let's select the primary system. For the displays, you'll see the fields here. You can click on it. Again, simply click copy. Then let's select the system too. Then for the displays uh, under the fields, click the plus sign. Then choose the default field here. Move the cursor down and here click paste after that you simply click apply and this way you've added the displays and the, the and the and the environment settings that you've applied to the primary system to the second system or to the aux system as we like to call it here and that is it for the particles uh, themselves now let's add a couple more effects to enhance the the look of the particles let's go to effects and presets window here we're going to search for cc vector below and add it to the particles then for the amount let's set it to 20 and that should be fine that will give our particles a very interesting kind of look now let's search for glow effects and presets and let's add the good old stylized glow to the particles here i'm going to de decrease the glow threshold to 40 percent you can go even lower if you want to particles to be you know, brighter and i'm going to set the glow radius to 40 just slightly increase it and set glow intensity all the way to six so our particles will be very very bright and that is exactly what we like to see here now let's do a quick preview and at this point we can add a simple background for that again let's go up to layer new new solid and let's name this one pg and for the color i'll choose a really dark blue something like that Make sure to place this uh, solid below every other layer. And let's also add a smooth zoom out throughout the composition. And we could easily do that with a, an adjustment layer. Layer, new adjustment layer. Then search for transform in effects and presets. Add it to the adjustment layer. Let's move the playhead at the beginning of the timeline. Let's set scale to 150. Then create a keyframe. Let's move it past 6 seconds, so maybe 7 seconds. And set scale to 100. Then while the adjustment layer is selected, press U on the keyboard to see the keyframes. Select them both. Right click any of them. Keyframe assistant is a user, simply press F9. To smoothen out the animation. And let's do another preview. And here is our particle logo reveal done. And as every other particle logo tutorial we've done, uh, this one is uh, procedural. So if we open the logo composition and decided to use a different logo, so let's say the Spotify logo. Just make sure you adjust the scale so it matches the previous logo scale. So let's hide the Twitter logo. And as we go back to the render composition, everything should be automatically adjusted to the new logo that you've added. And here you have it. Very simple and easy to use. You can create as many logo animations with this method as you like. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, do not forget to leave a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.